Work is far from over for crews in Cheatham County as they wait for the water to go down and further assess the damage. News Channel 5's Matthew Torres explains how that's not the only concern for some people who live there. Even with the sun finally shining throughout. So far, this is the worst one. It's only highlighting the boundaries Mother Nature put in place. I don't know how else to describe it. I mean, I can't even tell if it's Sycamore, the Cumberland anymore. Parts of Cheatham County are flooded, but that didn't seem to stop some drivers before deputies blocked the roads. The further down you go, it's deeper. That's the reason we turned around. The Cheatham County mayor signed a disaster declaration after the floods over the weekend. Schools had to be canceled today, and it makes sense when you see roads like this one leading to homes still flooded. 13 other counties in Tennessee have declared local states of emergency in hopes of receiving funds. Chapman's Borough Road in Ashland City is one of the hardest hit areas, motivating locals to visit and then turn around. I feel for these people that do live over here. It, it sucks that, that has, they have to go through that. Cell phone videos from neighbors show how high the water got. Local emergency officials expect roughly 50 homes were affected, but to completely finish assessing the damage isn't a quick job. We were just waiting on the Cumberland River to go down, and it's slowly going down, but slower than anticipated. Neighbors are thankful it wasn't worse, but are now concerned about possible burglars on boats slithering their way to homes. We uh, had that in 2010, but I would advise against that because these homeowners, I'm sure they're, they would be willing to shoot anybody that tried to uh, steal any of their things because most of them are still in their homes. Some managed to stay put with running electricity. Like officials, they're just waiting for the water to go down and problems to wash away. In Cheatham County, Matthew Torres, News Channel 5.